Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me for another process video. Today I'm putting together the week of August 1st in my Project Life album. Um, so here I'm using a Studio Calico card um, that says Hello Sunshine. And I wanted to do something a little bit different with the stamping. So I am stamping this right here sentiment that came in an old Week in the Life uh, kit by Allie Edwards. I just kind of bent the stamp there and... Um, kind of lined it up with the inner rim of those sunglasses and then I stamped a little circle label there and added my date directly inside so this was a really fun week um, I was able to go to Los Angeles with my husband on one of the days and go to a concert with my family on another day so just overall a really good summer week um, so I wanted to put together this little meter and um, this is a stamp that came in an old studio calico kit and you have the meter and then it also has um, an arrow that's separate so you can point it in any direction and it comes with really cute sentiments like fun meter turn it up excitement level thrill meter um, really some fun sentiments there so I used the fun meter and stamped it directly on the card and this card I had been hoarding for so long I love the abstract shapes on here I love the colors it just seemed to work really well with this um, this week's photos and overall feel so I decided to use it here and then for this photo of the coffee cups, um, it was a little bit out of the way, so we took a drive to get some coffee. It was on the way to where we were going, but we don't get to go here all the time. So I stamped that little car. Um, you see me rocking it back and forth. That's just because the photo is a little bit more raised, so to get a nice clear image onto the photo and the car, just kind of rocked it back and forth as carefully as I could. And then um, I stamped, but first, coffee right next to it. And then on this photo of my husband and I, um, I just added a little bit of flair there from Feed Your Craft. It says, I love your guts. And I really, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to add to that Feed Me and Tell Me I'm Pretty card. Um, this whole time I was kind of thinking, what can I add there? I think it would have been fine on its own, but I do end up stamping something a little bit later on. So on this uh, food photo, this delicious food, um, I stamped two arrows pointing to the food and then I stamped eat out on top of just some yellow cardstock and then I cut that out um, just to add a little bit of contrast. Um, I didn't want to stamp the eat out directly on top of the arrows there. Um, I just, I think that little pop of yellow color kind of balances out the photo as well, so. And then I had a couple of photos from the concert and I also had a ticket stub. So I decided to make a flip up pocket for this one. Um, I think I had originally planned to include the 3x4 photos in the 3x4 pockets, but I didn't have enough to go into my 4x6 pockets, so I decided to just leave the photos together. I had printed them side by side, so I just left them together and then adhered them on top of the 4x6 card. Um, and then I'm cutting out this Summer Days um, stamp. It's a stamp that came in an old Kelly Perky uh, stamp set and I stamped it onto pink cardstock and then I just cut it out to use the little banner on top of the photos here and then I'm going to add in a little flare piece that says that's my jam And if you've seen my day in the life uh, process video, you have seen me put together many flip up cards. Um, this is a technique that I originally saw Allie Edwards use and I have just used it so many times since then. It's perfect if you just have a little bit of extra journaling or an extra photo or something to add into your spread but you don't have enough to create a whole other spread. Um, you just washi tape two cards together. Um, you washi tape the front and then the back of the cards just to adhere them. And then that bottom card just slips into your pocket and the front card is on the outside of the pocket so you can just flip it up and see what's on the other side. So on the inside of the card, 
Um, I adhered the ticket stub directly to the top and then I left a little bit of space that I could do some journaling underneath. So that Summer Vibes card is um, a card that came in an old Studio Calico kit and I really I love this card but I think it's a little bit too dark for one of my typical spreads in my Project Life album. So I've been holding on to it for a while and I'm really happy I was able to use it here um, just on the inside of the flip up card so that it's not something that's kind of paired with any of the photos. It's just kind of an extra sort of sneak at something once you actually um, flip up that card. And then for this photo of frozen yogurt, um, I have, this is definitely a favorite place of mine. Um, I love Menchie's frozen yogurt. And so I stamped this little sentiment. Um, it has check boxes for favorite place, repeat customer, and my second home. And I checked all of those boxes. And um, I hadn't planned when I had stamped that to add a sticker title. I kind of thought of that after the fact. So there almost wasn't enough room to add in these stickers, but thankfully it fit. I just had to cut off a little bit of the top. Um, and I just added in the title of Menchie's. As if I would forget. I probably wouldn't forget where we went, but <laughs> just in case. Um, and then I added this little uh, heart geotag right next to that stamp. So I kept thinking, what can I do to that feed me and tell me I'm pretty card? And again, I think it would have been totally fine on its own, but I just wanted to add a little something. So I pulled out a Gossamer Blue stamp set and it has this little pineapple. Um, the pineapple has nothing to do with the spread other than the fact that it's summer and I just thought it was really cute. So uh, I stamped that and it's just sort of a subtle little add-on right there. So that completes my spread for this week and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.